All right, shalom, wam, shalom, wam, to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and my elders of great millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to my fellow Akim, push the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Shalom, wam, peace and blessings to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men in Doctrine of Great Millstone. This is the brother Yadav from GMS Atlanta Church coming with, another, coming with another lesson through the Spirit. And, um, I'm pretty much going to go through um, Ezekiel, the 34th chapter. Now, this is going to be the first of uh, a three-part uh, series, so to speak. Just going through this chapter and, you know, and just rereading, uh, you know, through the book of Ezekiel, I came across uh, Ezekiel 34 and, you know, it it really spoke to me as far as um the the incident that happened between the um the the members of uh ISUBK and IUIC in which um you know I I don't know the full details of everything that happened but you know there was a video put out in um you know in which they were pretty much uh there was contention and they were arguing back and forth. You know, as far as um certain location in which uh they were teaching like i said i don't know the ins and outs of the you know the entirety of the situation but and just going through and rereading this chapter it, it definitely spoke to me as far as um you know why you how about me i was shot throughout the scriptures has uh uh you know spoken to uh certain members of the nation of Israel, especially those of the circumcision or those who know that they're Israelites and especially those who, um, you know, come, you know, in this, in the spirit of, uh, you know, prophesying and teaching our people, um, you know, pretty much those who, um, stand in a lot to, you know, be leaders of our people, man, you know, there's a you know, particular way in which Yahweh Bashmi, I was shy, intends and commands his business his business as the ministry to be done and if you don't do that there's definitely a um a punishment and a judgment for that so like i said this is going to be the first of a three-part series um going through ezekiel 34 in which i'm going to go through the entire chapter um in these three parts and part one is going to be um from verses one through ten so this is ezekiel 34 and one and the word of the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves, should not the shepherds feed the flocks? And you see, and this is a particular instance in which Yahweh Yahweh put the spirit on and gave a uh, uh, you know, words and message of prophecy to the shepherds of Israel. Who would be the shepherds of Israel? The uh, the so-called, you know, leaders or the self-proclaimed leaders of our nation. Primarily, like I said, those of the circumcision who, um, you know, claim to have an understanding of, of uh, you know, the doctrine given to us by way of the scriptures, Okay. But what the scriptures say, it says, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves, should not the shepherds feed the flocks. And like I said, just going to that particular incident that happened uh, recently, you know, the video was posted within the last week or so. But, you know, we, I don't we don't know exactly when it occurred, but, you know, we can um, presume that it was, uh, you know, relatively recent. But, um, you know, the main purpose is what? Feeding the flocks and, f and feeding the nation of Israel. Verse 3. Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with the wool. You ye kill them that are fed, but you feed not the flock. And you see, and this is why Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, by way of the, uh, the 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 inspiration of the words put on uh, on Ezekiel, said, "Woe be to the shepherds! Woe be an instruction to the shepherds of Israel, because what they're not tending to the uh, the business of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, you know, as he uh, um, as he requires, man." Okay, um, matter of fact, let me go ahead and go get to that. This is uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 23 and verse 37. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I, gather, would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth 
her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. You see, and going back to that particular incident in which, you know, you had um, members of, uh, you know, of the, you know, factions and groups of uh, ISUBK and uh, IUIC going back and forth. And, you know, and pretty much, you know, not not moving in the spirit of a standard, man. Okay, not applying the scriptures, you know, uh, 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 stirring up uh, strife and contention, you know, and and like I said, not doing uh, the 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 will and service of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai as He commanded us to do, man. You know, but what there's all there's always well not to say always there's been um, numerous times throughout the scriptures in which you know people of our own nation you know, rose up against us, okay, because we, you know, tell them the truth according to the, the, the scriptures and the doctrine, man, okay, and just the, the separation, okay, and the uh, the tension between um, in the incident shown in this group, in, in uh, that last incident with those two uh, groups goes to show you that, you know, the nation of Israel has been uh, separated, man, okay, and which is another reason in which, you know, we, we, we saying and we, um, we stand by the the uh, the fact that we here at Great Millstone are not affiliated with any other Hebrew Israelite groups, man. Okay, because one for for doctrine's sake, okay, and two because they don't move according to you know how Yahweh Shemayah has commanded us to move, you know. And you know I'm I may leave a a link in the description, you know, just just uh, showing that you know that video. You know, I'm not gonna play it in this particular lesson, but just to, you know, um, let it be seen, you know, what actually happened between those individuals. But at the end of the day, the, and this is this is yet another sign in which we we know and understand that all Israelite groups don't have the truth, man, you know, that uh, uh, beginning with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and, the, and, and the, uh, the body and the fruits in which they have gathered, you know, we believe through the spirit that we have the truth. And even one... Um, Notion to that is, you know, the the apostles they they've already said you don't necessarily have to be a member of Great Millstone in order to, um, you know, uh, obtain salvation. You know, now we believe through the Spirit that we have the uh, the hundred percent truth as far as the, the the doctrine, okay, and the understanding of the scriptures. But hey, it boils down to the doctrine. You know, if you if you believe, okay, and you push the doctrine in which uh, we begin, we at Great Millstone uh, push, beginning with the apostles. Hey, you have the true doctrine, man. You know, but you know, even going into um, ISUBK and you know the uh, commanding general Yohanan, in which even in uh, the video, in the um, the intro in in in, in the video or one of the videos in which uh, they posted. It pretty much said that if you're not if you're not coming up under commanding general Yohanna of uh, ISUBK, you are not in the truth. And where is that in the scriptures, man? You know that's actually you know that's not in the scripture. That's not scripturally based. You see, but what that goes into uh, um, these particular leaders, okay, feeding themselves and not uh, um, concerning themselves with properly feeding the flock of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. Continuing on Ezekiel thirty four and four. The disease have ye not strengthened, neither have ye healed that which was sick, neither have ye bound up that which was broken, neither have ye brought again that which was driven away, neither have ye sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. Okay? And um just in a way in, in the manner in which, you know, and, and I'm not gonna say everyone, you know, in, in their body, okay. But there, you know, there's a, there are, you know, and it, and it shows through their, their actions and their works that they have a lot, there's a lot of bad, you know, fruit in those bodies, man. Okay. And just to say this as well, just like uh, a po uh, Elder Apostle Hart said, you don't necessarily have to be uh, a, a, a direct member of Great Millstone, you know, to, to obtain salvation. You know, now we do believe that you have to adhere to the, the doctrine of, of the uh, uh, the leadership and uh, the apostles of of and, of and elders of Great Millstone. You know, but he also says too that there's agents uh, amongst our camps as well. Okay, so hey, just because you have uh, Great Millstone, you know, on your YouTube page, or you know, or you know, or or or, or even if uh, 
you're moving in, in the, the spirit and doctrine in which our apostles have uh, given us, hey, man, we still have to fight until the, fight and endure until the end, okay? But like I said, um, the proof is in the pudding, so to speak, the, the fruits in which they have gathered in their particular groups, okay, and the manner in which they uh, conduct and operate and also do the business of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, it, it goes to show you that they're ruled, okay, by um, leadership, okay, that, that, you know, pushes down on them with force, man. Okay, and with cruelty. And uh, another example of that is is the way and manner in which they treated each other, man. You know, and, and the, uh, uh, as far as these groups, IU, uh, ISUBK and IUIC, okay, they, they treated each other with a forceful and cruel manner, okay, which, like I said, is a, also a reflection of their leadership, man, okay? Continuing on, verse 5. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd, and they became meat to all the beasts of the field, when they were scattered and that's the um speaks also into the condition of our people man okay because um the nation of israel had no shepherd okay because uh we weren't moving um under you know under the leadership of yahweh shai you know while we were discontinued from our heritage hey man our people became a uh, prey to uh uh all, all the um the the heathens and the wicked around uh, about man all the wicked uh, evil, treacherous people around about, our people pretty much became uh, the prey towards, man, you know? Verse 6, my sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon every hill, it's like every high hill, yeah, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth and none did search or seek after them. And you see, and this is, and this is um, like I said, yet another reason in which we believe that through the spirit that we're under the proper leadership okay beginning with the apostles and the elders man because a hey, one thing that i can um testify as far as uh, the the uh, leadership even going into the leadership of our uh, individual camps is that men are s sincere about um properly feeding the sheep okay of uh, the sheep of uh the nation of israel of yahweh and feeding our people with uh uh true with truth and doctrine that can uh that will lead them towards salvation all right and once again that's scriptural all right so this is john 10 and 10 i'm gonna read through verses 15 the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy i am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly and one um thing as well that i um actually heard the uh elder brother uh Peshai from uh the uh gms dc you know baltimore you know camp area is that you know a lot of um scriptures in which we use and apply to uh uh edom esau the so-called white man so-called white race also apply to our people as well okay and hey if you're moving in a um anti-christ spirit okay uh anti hamashiach spirit then you're also counted as a thief you know who come in that evil a uh, uh, destructive uh, manner and spirit, man. Okay, which includes, like I said, a lot of uh, uh, off Israelites of the circumcision, man. Particularly of these uh, other Hebrew Israelite groups, man. All right, verse eleven. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep, and this is Yahweh Shai. Okay, and we, you know, once again, we're um, elaborating on Ezekiel uh, thirty-four. All right, verse twelve. But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd whose own the shepherd are not, see if the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. Even going to now, as far as, uh, you know, uh, the commanding general, Yohanna, and then even, like I said, uh, IUIC and them and their leadership, you know, they, uh, well, shoot, can't even fully say that anymore, but uh, some of these other Hebrew Israelite groups, you know, such as ISUBK, okay, and, uh, and, and others, but I say I can't even say that anymore because uh, the word is, okay, and, and you know, there's been uh, individuals who spoke on this, uh, IUIC, they, they, uh, their leadership beginning with uh, Bishop uh, uh, Nate, okay, pretty much uh, condemned speaking out against Esau, okay, but then I guess, like I, the point I was going to make was even going into the times of now as far as taking this jab, okay, they, you know, they, they don't condemn, uh, uh, these type of things. They don't condemn taking the jab, okay, and and taking these uh this uh this max, okay, which the ingredients uh 
uh, uh, that are in that, we don't even fully know what's in there. You know, we you know where it is. There's some you know, uh, substances that are complete abomination, such as uh, you know crab blood and, and things of that nature. Okay, and you know, I, you know, we can't even speak too much on it <laughs> because YouTube will uh, uh, um, take down our you know our videos and, and give us strikes. But you know, the, the information is out there. Okay, but what they they uh, continue to scatter the sheep. Okay, and they see the they see the uh, the waste they're coming, or they they see the uh, the enemy coming, you know, on the uh, on the footsteps. Okay, but then they 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 uh, they're skating. Okay, when it's it's time for the the shepherd, you know, to really you know be there and, and to to build and defend the sheep, man. You know, continuing on the hireling the hireling fleeth, because he is an hireling and care of not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep, and am my known of mine. And the Father knoweth me, even so so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And of course, you know, we believe that we're in a time of salvation. So, you know, of course it's written that there will be certain men put to death and, you know, beheaded and, you know, have certain uh, um, uh, things that happen to them in these last days for the, uh, uh, for the truth and prophecy's sake. Okay, but, you know, it, through the Spirit, we, we, give up, we give up and lay down our lives now. Okay, because we know and understand that this is uh, uh, the, uh, our reasonable service. Okay, and this is our way and method of sacrificing um, unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to um, uplift our, uh, uplift our people and lead them toward salvation, and also to Lord willing preserve our lives. Okay, uh, the lives of our families and also the lives of them that hear us. Okay, but you know these other Israelite groups, man, they're not moving in that spirit, man. And like I said, <clears throat> the particular instance that. Um, Occurred recently, you know, but in, in, the, in the altercation between ISUBK and um, IUIC is yet another example of this. So if they can't even show a level of uh, a love and care and decorum to their own, um, you know, brothers, you know, in the fight, so to speak. Now, of course, you know, there's differences as far as the doctrine, but hey, <clears throat> that's no that's no reason to uh, uh, you know create a, a a scene, you know, as as they created, you know. That that was a, a complete lack of wisdom, man, and a complete lack of good judgment, man. You know what I'm saying? And hey, like I said, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna uh, uh, he's marking he's he's uh, taking note of, and there will be judgment, you know, for everything that we do. All right, uh, uh, scripture speak of being judged for every idle word, you know, and that was a, a big um, stain on on the nation on the nation of Israel, man. You know. It, Complete nigga shit, man. All right. And continuing on and finishing out in this chapter, Ezekiel 34 and 7. Therefore, ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. As I live, saith the Lord, Yahweh, surely because my flock became a prey and my flock became meat to every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd, neither did my shepherds search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock. And throughout this whole, in, uh, uh, um, interaction altercation hey man they weren't they weren't thinking about uh uh the flock okay of your and uh, you know edi uh, edifying uh our nation you know not one not one precept came up you know they were they were uh concerned about uh uh that vain glory man okay uh bigging themselves up and, and showing how big and bad they are you know but you know like i said your Bashim and is very particular okay really in all things, but especially when it comes to the ministry. So, hey, Jake better get right, man. Okay, Jake better get right, you know. Ezekiel 34 and 9, Therefore, O ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand, and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth that they may not be meat for them. You see, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, very soon, man, okay, is going to cause uh, uh, these particular shepherds, these particular, uh, particular leaders, so-called leaders and ministers of Israel, to cease, okay, from feeding the flock, to cease from even uh, going out, you know, to even uh, um, portray the image of uh, standing for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Like I said, you know, as far as IUIC, like it's been said before, IUIC, they don't even push, okay, the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, 
you know, even the, the name of their congregation, Israel United in Christ, you know, is a, 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 a slap in the face, man, to the true and proper names of our Heavenly Father and our Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and then as far as ISUBK and the particular um, way, in, way in which they move, especially with this particular situation, man, that's not what this is about, man. You know, like I said, it's not about that vainglory, okay? It's all about um, edify, edifying and building the elect. This is 1 Peter 4. I'm going to read verses 17 through, uh, th through 19. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? You see, so the time has come, man, that judgment is going to begin, okay, in the house of the circumcisions, man. You know, in the house of those who um, know that they are of Israel, okay, because... If you know that you're Israel, that comes with a certain level of responsibility, man. They know that you have to be, um, you know, uh, be a, a sheep sent amongst wolves, okay? And like I said, you have to uh, conduct the business of this gospel and of this ministry in a particular way, all right? Verse 18, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according, according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. See, so, you know, we have to, you know, uh, hold ourselves to a, a certain standard, you know, and and really push and try, you know, to the best of our ability to to move not only in the spirit of wisdom, but also in do in, in well-doing, man, you know, and 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 most definitely um remember and 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 to you know highly um consider all right, uh, you know, the name in which we're coming in, the names in which we're coming in, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. So we can't just be, you know, out there or doing things, you know, all in a carnal spirit, man. Or right, we have to move, you know, with the Holy Spirit, okay, and also implement the uh, the the, uh, the scriptures and the fruits of the Spirit, you know, as we uh, teach repentance, okay, and, and, and push the Gospels, and the prophecies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so I'm in this lesson off there, Lord willing you edify it once again before I close out. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and my elders of Great Millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to my fellow Akim, pushing the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom.